What are spiritual visions? Today we are going to talk about spiritual visions. And we could define them as manifestations of divine origin. In most cases. I say this because sometimes the devil can also create visions to distract and deceive souls seeking God. This is an important topic because we are living the last days according to the Holy Scriptures. And it is important to know the testimony of those who have entered and walked in the spiritual life. St. Paul says in the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 17, referring to what the prophet Joel said in chapter 2, verse 28. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my Spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters will prophesy, and your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. Looking from the beginning of the written word, we find the biblical testimony revealed in the Holy Scriptures that teaches us how God has manifested himself to the prophets and men of God through visions and messages from angels, or through revelations of the Holy Spirit, or through his word, either verbally or in the heart. In effect, The Word of God is the revelation of the voice of God given to the prophets and apostles, so that we men may know Him more deeply through faith. All these are the manifestations of the Holy Spirit that Jesus promised, saying in John 14, verse 26, But the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. The Word of God teaches us in John 1 verse 18 that no one has seen God but the only begotten Son, Jesus, who is God and who lives in intimate union with the Father, has made Him known to us. So the knowledge of God, who is of a divine nature, distinct from our own, is revealed by Jesus who is true man and true God. After the compilation of the Holy Scriptures, we have heard in our Catholic Church of many visions through the saints who have been moved by the Spirit of God to proclaim the Gospel and glorify the Kingdom of God. God is love, and in His loving and merciful desire, He wants the salvation of all souls. People who receive visions or messages share with us how God in His mercy manifests Himself in this way so that we can better know and understand the desires of His divine will. Let us look then at what kind of visions there are. First of all, there are the spiritual visions that are manifested in a physical way with the organ of sight, which are not very common. For example, the apparitions of Jesus or the Virgin Mary to different visionaries, where reality is modified in a supernatural way for the people who have the vision, but not necessarily for all those who may be present there. Now, few are privileged with this type of vision, although they also occur from time to time to people given to God or to people chosen by the Lord or the Virgin Mary. Secondly, and more frequently, mental visions occur in which the Lord shows an image in the mind, either with the eyes closed or open, but which happens quickly and describes the situation with many details. It is something that totally interrupts the mind and fixes itself to tell us something that God manifests or allows to manifest. I say so because in this type of vision, it is as if we are looking through the eyes of God. Thirdly, there are the intellectual visions that are representative pictures of situations, teachings, revelations, or any type of manifestation that the Lord wishes to project. In the mental and intellectual visions, 
that are projected in the mind with the eyes closed, images are formed in great detail, with colors, sounds, teachings and understandings, and sometimes voices. Other times they are images made of light without any color, but that transmit a message to our spirit. Apart from visions, the Lord also manifests himself through dreams, in which many times it is necessary to seek the correct interpretation. Almost always, it is a situation in which the Lord calls us to be merciful. I want to give testimony of my particular case because I began to receive visions since the great reconversion to Catholicism that happened when I was about 40 years old. Now I am over 70. <laughs> it is as if the Lord opened my mind, my ears, and my spiritual eyes. Hebrews 9, verse 3. He tore the curtain that prevented me to see into the beyond and began for me a spiritual instruction, even through messages and visions, and sometimes dreams. Now the question is, what are visions for? I say it from my own experience that visions act as teaching, as revelation of some knowledge about someone or about some situation, they are illuminations that are not obtained voluntarily, but by divine influence. That is why they are also calls to mercy. The most important thing is that visions are a testimony of the real presence of God in our lives, who manifests himself as he wants, when he wants, where he wants, and with whom he wants. I explain to you about my experiences on this subject, because apart from intellectual or abstract visions, I enjoy almost daily visions of souls in purgatory, for which I immediately pray by immersing them in the holy wounds, blood, water, pains, tears, and anguishes of Jesus and those of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For me, these are spiritual works in which the Lord sends me to pray for needy souls. Sometimes I also see people I know or people who are not souls in purgatory but who need spiritual help. My answer is always to put them in prayer. Another important question is, what is needed to receive visions? Who can receive them? Well. Actually, anyone can receive visions. What prevents this from happening is the occupation of the mind and soul in the things of the world, because this acts as a barrier to the spiritual world. Of course, God gives to whom He wills, when He wills, and how He wills, not because of the holiness of the person, but because of the need for the salvation of souls, for which the Lord in His will uses any person as an instrument. All credit is always to the Lord. I would say in an analogous way that it is like when a cleaner uses a broom to sweep or a painter uses a brush to paint. At no time is credit given to the broom or to the brush because the instrument is not the author of the work. In our case of visions, the same as in miracles. The author is God. Prayer, meditation, and contemplation lead us to moments in which the soul is not so attached to the body, and that is why God can manifest Himself to a soul in those moments, allowing a vision to arise. Each vision has a special purpose, and we must consider and examine it for its spiritual value since it is not something produced in the mind of man, by man, but something that God forms or allows to be formed for whatever his purpose may be. In future videos, I will show visions that I have received, as I have done in some before. At the end of this video, I share a link that leads to a website of spiritual visions. Why do I share these visions? 
I do it for one reason only. These visions are my testimony of what it is to live in the presence of the Lord. He himself has asked me to share all this knowledge so that people can grow in faith. In some occasions, these visions have been testimony of miracles that the Lord has caused, deliverances, healings, and many things that God wants to share with all human beings. From my web page, The Work of God, you may enter the different types of visions that God has revealed to me. Some I classify as spiritual, although all of them are, but some contain mystical content, others are visions of the child Jesus, others of the Virgin Mary, others of souls in purgatory, and finally, the idea is that all this is really a spiritual gift to give glory to God. I regret not having documented all that I have received. Hence, it is not advisable to keep things in memory, because memory is fragile. I thank you for your attention to this subject. And in the description of the video, I share with you links to know many of these visions. Please subscribe to our channel, The Word of God, and give us a like. Do not forget to share this video and leave your comments. God bless you.